What a creep says when someone responds, Thanks, but I have a boyfriend to their messages. Okay, hey, look, last I checked, who wants to be a millionaire is not supposed to have trick questions. Why is this one hard for people? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into r slash nice guys, and if you guys would like to be nice and not in the way of these dinguses, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up on the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications notifications. Let me know down below what something fun you did, because I went to TwitchCon! Also, I am sponsored by Gamersubs. If you would like to save 10% with your order, use code Tommy at checkout, or click the link down below. It actually really does help me out. Yeah, 420 friendly. I'm more loyal than Sam from Lord of the Rings. What kind of beef you got with Sam? I'm a big nerd and love hiking and adventures. Looking for a gamer GF or a herb witch or just some uh, badass cutie and someone to love me for me. A mad golden retriever lover. I'm, uh, just going with the flow, TBH. Oh, yeah, uh, I do not drive yet. X left me some, sir, some, uh, fat Mexican dude at our, uh, work, so I'm on here. I guess I get blocked for being nice. No, you're gonna get blocked for making a creepy-ass bio, dude. Well, uh, hello, adorable. Uh, hi. Wow, I reread your bio. That is sure a lot. No law, and uh, I know, lol. Is it bad? Is the fact that your girlfriend left you for a fat Mexican man important enough for you that it warrants being in the bio? Oh, yeah, this is the guy from the last post. I forgot that this was all one big thing. What? Here's my Snapchat. Um, hi? Oh yes, you know, because unfortunately the phrase try try again was a bit too ingrained in use. Why match with me and then ghost me? No need for the attitude. I don't have notifications on for Tinder and I don't have Snapchat. No offense, I thought that you were cute, but the conversation hasn't exactly been compelling. Also, casual racism in your bio about your ex leaving you for a fat Mexican really turned me off. My bio doesn't say that. My best friend is Mexican and Filipino. My best friend is black. I'm not racist. No, but that has me feeling you've said a word you're not uh, supposed to be saying. A lot of my friends are different races and color. I have three black friends. That don't mean you get to say it three more times. Who are my best friends? And I'm chilling. I'm just a bad texter. Trust me. I'm just a bad texter. I'm not a bad person. I've been called a sweet, nice guy, kind guy, good boy. Such a good boy. I heart you because I find you really interesting and fun and probably treat me right and you're, wrong you're, drop dead beautiful. May I have your number? No. Also, we are aren't really at this level at the moment. I'm sorry. Uh, what level? Calling somebody baby is like a dating thing, and we aren't quite that, I don't think. No, oh, I don't think you're special for that. I call everyone baby. Okay, prove it then. Call your homies baby. Mainly when I can't remember their name. Ah, right. Just makes me a little uncomfortable as all. It's not personal. Yeah, I know you really want to prove that wrong? Okay then, I don't see you be calling your homies baby anytime soon, and I kind of think if you aren't calling your homies babies, then what are you doing with your life? This is what you need to be doing. You need to be calling the homies baby. I should shut up right about now. Well, considering you aren't respecting mine, I agree. I've set my boundary. I don't change for anyone, and you have asked me to change. That is you breaking that respect. Therefore, this won't work. Please, now remove me before I have to block and report you, as well as wishing you a happiness in life. I am a very sweet, kind person, until somebody messes with me and disrespects me. Look, dude, all she didn't want to do was you calling her baby. Sometimes, people are not okay with being called specific words, and if somebody says, please don't call me that, your, should, your response should be 
be, okay, going forward, I will do that. Not, I just call everybody that, don't worry about it, even though me saying it makes you uncomfortable, I should be able to still do it because that is my boundary. People in proximity are getting smarter because Dingus here is hogging all the stupid. What else could I have said? He isn't like the others is a red flag. Why even say that? You didn't even know what other guys are like. I have guy friends tell me how they manage their Tinder dates. I sort of internally detest it, but outright give them a fist bump. It's a guy thing. J that's me just being honest. I would never treat a lady any different than I do my mother. You don't know me yet, and we've never met. What's the worst that could happen? We have dinner, and if you don't like me, you can leave. No hard feelings, but we might just click. Especially with a different, all of the different things that we have in common. Uh, why not give it a chance? Uh, just say, yeah, uh, I'll meet you on the 28th. Uh, how do I post a follow-up pic? You don't. This post was enough, dude. Leave this girl alone and drop the entire premise and concept that you even at all need to convince or persuade a girl to meet with you and give you a chance or whatever. I pray, pray that you are like 16 actually. No, I'm 33 and I'm not giving up. She is amazing. Okay, don't do that. This is creepy and you sound like a freaking loser. Real life is not a Hollywood movie. When someone is not interested, you leave them the F alone. Not try to win their heart over like a rom-com. Yeah, rom-coms are fictional because they are just supposed to be some super characterized thing of love. And here's the thing, if somebody says they do not want to be around you, it's a good thing for you to respect that. Hey, Blank, I understand what you are saying. Yet, uh, let's be honest. In general, most women will friendzone a good man because he is boring, predictable, and uh, so on. Many women love fun, exciting, and uh, mystery men. This is not up for debate. It is just true. If you disagree with this conversation, is over. If you don't read on, I'm confident that you may have friends owned a man that would truly love you. There are expectations to two rules, and you may be it. Yet, in general, women love bad boys, but get upset when they act bad. Have a great day. LOL. That's like saying men are not attracted to beauty. So if women are more attracted to a good Rilla man, then explain why social media if flooded with I need to heal. I'm X was bad. Eight out of ten women I meet say that they were this. Men do what works. We see, I don't even know if that's a word, men, women, FK, and men act the same way? You have no idea how many women admit they didn't like him because he was too nice just to end up with a man who will have um, them a black eye. It's so common, and women like you try to pretend it's not things because women don't know accountability. I can't catch a break with these females. I saw this stunning Asian female at Queensboro Plaza early this morning. She had a cute face and great taters and a round badonker that looked great in the black yoga pants that she was wearing. I just had to get her number. I called over to her and she seemed interesting. I got her number, texted it, and someone named Jack replied. She gave me a fake number. I keep trying my luck with American females, but I get reminded to stop trying with westernized females every single time. I have my passport, I have the funds, and I have the will. You do not have the ability to shut up though. I'm about to get my females from the source in Thailand and Cambodia. No, this is ridiculous. You claim you want a nice guy to take care of you, but reject every single advance from kind men. We are officially done. I can't wait to give my passport a 
good workout. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye <laughs>